So, boss's daughter, huh? <laughs> Must be nice. Oh, yeah. It's great. You don't get a childhood and you never see your dad. Well, I'm sure he's a busy guy, but I bet he dotes on you. Wouldn't know. Never met the guy. What? Doesn't he live around here? Apparently. I guess criminal masterminds don't make the best parents. Mamushi Heika says it's a security precaution. A lot of people want him dead, I guess. How about you? I don't want him dead. I don't even care that he's alive. Well, he got you a pretty nice birthday gift. He did? What was it? Some kind of uh, amulet looking thing. Well, does it do anything? I have no idea. <sighs> you are beyond useless. Will you ask Smith next time you see him? Oh yeah, sure. I'll put it on my to-do list. What was that stuff Zilla shot you up with? It's an experimental compound I've been working on. What's it do? At low doses, it acts like a recreational drug. Elicits euphoria, mild hallucinations, anxiety release, dependency. Huh. Sounds just like Shade. Shade? Yeah, you know, that new junkie shit. I don't spend much time with junkies. What's it do at high doses? Above 0.05 grams per 10 pounds of body weight, the drug produces visions. You mean like maybe our universe is just one cell of a giant alien, or how do you throw away a garbage can? More like, how do you reverse engineer the human biome to create implantable machines that can run off of endogenous cellular energy? Oh, like that. <laughs> like that. So what did you see? Today? Nothing. Or if I did, I can't remember it. He was saying some pretty messed up stuff. Yeah, well, no one's ever been given a dose that high before. Yeah, well, I can tell you from experience that Zilla's not such a fan of having ex-employees running around. Most evil geniuses are that way. An evil genius is still a genius. Even when he was firing me, he was doing science. Great. Now we know what to put on your headstone. What did you do for Zilla? I'm a scientist. I worked in his chi physics lab. Oh, I see. Like on, uh, chi engines and stuff? I actually helped him invent chi engines. No shit. I'm surprised Zilla didn't consider you more valuable. <laughs> Oh, he knew my value. Treated me like a golden goose. <laughs> Until you laid just the golden egg he was looking for? Something like that. So weird having you in my head. Yeah, I can imagine. I guess it's more like deja vu. You did something like this before. It was slightly different, but uh, I had a helper in my head for a while. It was aggravating at first too, but eventually we became friends. Wonderful! I'm living with a schizophrenic. And not just any schizophrenic. A highly trained and heavily armed schizophrenic. Well, if you're gonna go, go big, I guess. Always. So when it comes to swords, you suddenly find passion and integrity. Typical man. Hey, you wouldn't understand. This sword is special. Is that what your mom called you? My mother died before my fourth birthday. Uh, oh, I'm... Sorry, I didn't know. Wait, we found something Kamiko doesn't know? Somebody call the papers! Oh yeah, there's no such thing anymore. Hey, that's okay, I'll just tell this demon up here. I'm sure he's interested. Okay, okay, point taken. So how well do you know Smith? He's my sensei. He taught me everything I know about Kung Fu. Is he really from a family of sword makers? I never had reason to doubt it. Except for the fact that he's... Tall? No, he's... Uh... Intelligent? Black. He's black. Now there's a news flash! But that doesn't make sense. He can't be from one of the sword-making families if he's... His mother was Japanese, his father was an American GI. He was raised by his grandfather. And what was his story? Never met the guy, but I think we're about to poke around his place. Oh, I like poking. So, were you one of Smith's pupils? In a way. I was a bit of a special case. Star pupil? Most of them had been there longer than me. I only started three years ago. Ooh, look at the fast learner. I do okay. But Smith was always very protective. He never sent me out on missions, wanted to keep my training under the radar. So he didn't turn you into a mercenary like the others? They're not mercenaries. Their only concern is helping others. They take a vow. Oh, great. Idealists. Just what we need. Another idealist on the disabled list. What do you have against idealists anyway? Didn't you ever believe in something? Sure. Then I turned nine. I'm way too old to stop believing in things now. 
Smith's an idealist and... Jeez, I don't even know how old he is. <laughs> it's probably a long con. Those fancy swords aren't going to sell themselves. Seriously? You know his students are broke, right? They're orphans. He provides everything for them. Until the day he drops them off at the meatpacking plant. If you seriously think that Smith has any intention of... <laughs> no, I just find it funny when you get upset. <sighs> seriously though, from what I can tell, Smith isn't an idealist. I think he's a highly exceptional realist. And people like that tend to attract idealists. You know, you could have just said you're a cynical old man and saved us some time. Okay, be careful up here. The old lady might be a jerk, but she was right about Zilla having this place staked out. Yes, he is very thorough. Oh, that's right. You're an ex-employee as well. Yeah, but I was less a scientist than a, um, persuader. <laughs> <laughs> a thug, you mean? Attitude adjustment specialist. So what went wrong with Zilla? You know, the usual. I was looking for more personal growth in my job, he was trying to take over the world. We were just going in different directions. Are you saying there are depths you won't stoop to? Technically, yes. But so far, they've all been theoretical. So what's in these notebooks? My experimental data. This is the foundation of my work on ZL4906. You mean Shade? Shade is trash. Street crap. It's Half of it is speed and heroin. People barely see anything. You tried this stuff? Uh, I invented this stuff. <sighs> That's some heavy shit. So, you're responsible for all those junkies in town? Hey, everyone's responsible for themselves. Those people are buying dirty stuff and getting hooked on other drugs. That's on them. <laughs> I don't take drugs. I conduct experiments on research compounds that provoke visionary reactions. Yeah, yeah, you get high on your own supply. <sighs> you have no idea what you're talking about. I don't think I'll ever get used to Chi Tech. Let me guess. In your day, you had to walk 20 miles to school in the snow, and candy bars cost a nickel. No, you couldn't just buy Chi Powers from a dealer on the corner, or power your car on it for crap's sake. That bothers you? It's cheap. I studied for decades before I could move Chi at all. Now I can't walk down the street without some asshole trying to levitate. I think you just don't like other people being powerful. I think I just believe in hard work. <laughs> Whatever, old. What the fuck? Hey, no offense, but your mom is a stone-cold bitch. Oh, she's not my mom. No? She's my grandmother. Grandmother? Seriously? Wow. Kind of guilty, actually. Ew! Gross! She is the worst! Where is your mom? In the ground. Died giving birth to me. Okay. Well, it was nice of Mama Mamushi to take you in, right? <laughs> oh, right. Well, after what she did to my mother, I'm surprised I'm even alive. Is this a story I really want to hear? She set up an arranged marriage between my mom and the Oyabun. Word is, it was a deal so he'd make her his number two. Wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Yeah, well, excuse me if I'm a little sensitive about my mother being sold as a sex slave. By her mother! Oh, I'd kill her myself. But it's what she'd do. I'll never be like her. What, in charge? You know, you're a real prick sometimes. I've always thought of myself as more of a wang. So how'd you get to know Smith? I started studying Kung Fu with him and he took an interest. He's the closest thing to real family I've got. Wait, Smith's a Kung Fu teacher? Uh-huh. He's only been a mechanic since the collision. I mean, he's always been a blacksmith, but before he only made swords. I guess there is more money in cars than martial arts these days. Everyone had to adjust after the collision. He doesn't charge any of us for lessons. And most of the students live there. Kids today, always looking for a handout. Believe me, they pull their own weight. They're some of the most selfless people I've ever met. <laughs> Saint Smith's home for wayward ninjas? You know what? Don't talk about things you don't understand. This is eerie. Where is everyone? I still don't get what the big deal is about tea. People didn't realize how much they liked it till it was gone. Oh. Like Baywatch Nights. After the collision, all arable land was commandeered for growing food. The Yakuza had a large hoard of tea left over from before, and they doled it out little by little. It was even used as currency in some places. We always had it in the house. 
Oh, you poor, poor thing. Their supply ran out a year ago. Every so often, some shows up in the market, selling for outrageous prices and gone before you can turn your head. Scylla somehow always had a steady supply, though. Maybe it was from here. Now this is some serious hipster bullshit growing tea in the post-apocalypse. Do you think the Yakuza are behind this? Who knows? Cults thrive on persecution. And what better way to explain why someone didn't want to be in your little club than to say someone has it in for you? <laughs> what would the Yakuza want with cult members? I don't know, but I wouldn't put anything past them. When I was growing up, the Yakuza were a force for stability. They helped maintain order. Sure, when they weren't running gambling, drugs, and prostitution rackets. I never saw anything like that. Hey, no offense, but your childhood may have been a little sheltered. Wow. Naked photos of Amiona. Are we having fun now or what? <sighs> what? I just don't understand why anyone cares what she does. I mean, what has she ever actually done except walk around acting superior? Hey, without her, the post-collision time would have been pretty rough. She's the only reason there wasn't an all-out war. <laughs> that was a stunt. Peace would have come eventually. Sure, once everyone was dead. It's gonna be real peaceful then. Okay, what has she done lately? She just bothers you because you think she has it easy. I'm not so sure about that. Whatever. She's a big ball of nothing. You'd think a goddess would be free from earthly desires. What about heavenly desires? Seriously, who would watch that? Who wouldn't? I don't get it. I'd rather be in the lab. And I thought my family was screwed up. <sighs> this just gets sadder and sadder. Trust me, with Gozu, that well goes deep. No, Zing. How could he do that to his own sister? I have a feeling there's more to this story. But yeah, there's no pretty way out of this, is there? Ah, any ideas how to get through this thing? Well, that's a Z-Secure 9700 lock, for starters. And that means? It's the most advanced lock Zilla makes. Unbreakable by almost anyone. I bet my pal Trinai could do it. Trinai? That's Mr. Trotoluene to you. Oh, Trinai Trotoluene. Cute. Hey, I made a chemistry joke, and nothing? Not even a chuckle? I don't do chuckling. If she keeps dynamite around, it'll be in the armory. Take the fun out of anything. Even dynamite. You excited? Finally gonna meet your old man? Yeah, and help chop him up. Should be a real sweet scene. Shit. Remind me to never impregnate your mom and then ignore you your whole life. I don't think you're my mother's type. But not rich enough? From what I can gather, she would have killed you before you could say, how'd you get your jeans so shiny? Sounds like my kind of lady. <sighs> and for the thousandth time today, I wish your soul had a shower in it. Hey, I just wanted to say I really appreciate everything you're doing. What? Whoa. Are you? You're thanking me. Shut up. You know how I feel about the way you conduct yourself, but that doesn't mean you haven't done a lot for me. Ah, well, that's very sweet. There is one thing I wanted to bring up, though. What I do now? When you and Mezu were talking about putting me back in my body, he mentioned using my soul to reseal the gate. Yes, he did. Well, did it sound to you like using meant using up? You know, I figured you're his daughter, so he couldn't be thinking... But it's Mezu, so... Yeah, I wouldn't put something like that past him. I have a feeling I might need your help. Can I count on you? Sure thing. Once we get your soul back in your body, we'll kick his ass and get out of there. I appreciate it. I mean, shit. I've come this far. What's one more clash with an immortal being from another dimension? <sighs> I'm still in shock that my dad is a demon. But I'm not. It makes perfect sense. How's that? You're both too smart for your own good, want everything done your way, and have no sense of humor. Oh! I have a sense of humor! Okay. What's brown and sticky? What? What's brown and sticky? What are you talking about? A stick. Get it? Brown and sticky. That is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. 
I rest my case. No sense of humor. I'll take intelligence over humor any day. And that is why my life is so much more entertaining than yours. I have to say, I'm impressed with the way these ancient gods have adapted to modern technology. And propaganda tools. Oh, they've been into propaganda since way back. What do you think divine visions are? Ads. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Followers don't just show up, you know. Just when I thought I couldn't get any more cynical. I bet you more people believe in Zing than the Beatles at this point. I wanna hold your head. I wanna hold your head. I want you to promise me that you will never do that again. Head, I need a body. Head, not just anybody. Head, you know I'm just the head. Head. Seriously? Quit it. I had the news today, oh boy. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop, I promise. So you really think Shade won't affect Mezu? Shade is processed chi, and he's basically made of the stuff. I can't imagine it would. It affected you? Yeah, but I'm half human. And half asshole. By heritage only, mind you. I wish I could disagree. You don't actually trust that guy, do you? Your dad? Fuck no. Okay, good. And he's not my dad. He's just a guy who made me alive. And the difference is? He didn't raise me. He's not my dad. You have to earn it. Besides, dads tend to be less, what's the word, rapey? Fair enough. And murdery. There's that. And if it weren't for him, my mom would still be alive. Yeah, but you wouldn't. Yeah, but I still get to carry around the guilt. The sooner I'm clear of this family, the happier I'll be. My feelings exactly. Oh, what a lovely day. First I find out that the family I never knew I had are a pack of egomaniacal supernatural lunatics. Now I get to go see the boss who betrayed me and killed my master. Self-pity is a mug's game. We have work to do. He screwed you over too, you know. Sure, but Zilla's a businessman. He's predictable. I can work with that. Amiona is in a whole different league. There's nothing more dangerous than someone with nothing to lose. Zilla has been conducting biological experiments on humans. On me! He's a monster! Yeah, but a logical monster. Oh, that's comforting. Hey, it's the little things, right? 